All right, what up guys? It's Plock the Master Gamer here, and I'm gonna try to make this video somewhat of a quick one. Uh, but in this video, I got I got a suggestion in the comments. Uh, it was on my uh, Fable the Lost Chapters Cheat Engine video. They were wondering if you could use Cheat Engine to duplicate your silver keys. And that was actually a pretty good question, and I wanted to test that and see if it was possible. So we're on an, an account, we're on a hero, has zero keys right now so we're just gonna try it i think what first key is the taylor's house or something like that yep all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to update the value after each key we get so this should be the first key we obtain oh uh, yeah guilt seal money bag lamp blah 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 so we don't have anything so here's the first key we're gonna grab the first key and then what we're gonna do is i have my cheat engine here already and we're gonna go to the first scan we're gonna search one, and of course we got 477,000, uh, you know, little things there. So we're, we're gonna have to get a couple more keys and do the search a couple more times. The frame rate looks too bad or whatever, it's because I went from uh, the game mode to screen capture to mode. All right, so we're about to get our second key here. Okay, that's key number two. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back. And here we are, we're gonna punch in two here. And that'll be the next scan. Okay. So we've gotten it down to 3,200. That's pretty decent for only two scans. Okay, so what we need to do is get a couple more keys. And luckily, I, I already know, like, by heart where a few of these keys are, so it's not going to be too difficult. Okay, so here is key number three. And we're going to go back over here. And we're going to change that to a three for the next scan. We're down to 29 addresses. Pretty, pretty good so far okay so there's one over here at the rose cottage that's decently easy to get and then there's also one in hob cave which i don't know in terms of easiness how easy that's gonna be but it is the next closest one all right so here we go we're on four keys and we're just gonna punch that didgeridoo in here hit our next scan and it looks like we've gotten it down to three of these things and when it gets to that point, I usually just change them all, you know, because why not? And then we'll, we'll lock those in. I got a lot of shit for locking those in because apparently you don't need to, you don't need to lock those in to make them active for it to work. You just need to change the values. But I find I have better luck when I lock them in. What locking the value does is it makes it so that the value will stay at 30. Like even if like, let's say it was gold or something. If you like set your gold to something and then spent some, that value wouldn't change. It would just stay at the value that you changed it to. Any way. So we Try technically have what four keys right now right okay and what does it show up as in my inventory wow shows up as we have 30 keys so that's dope so we actually should be able to open up pretty much everything now so let's go to the guild because i know there's one at the guild so wow this actually works and it only takes four keys to do i of course have no reason to believe that this wouldn't just like work you know I mean, it shows I have 30 keys. I don't see why it wouldn't let me open the key chest. You know, makes makes enough sense, right? All right, so here we go. This, is a, this will be a good test. A 20 key chest. I should not be able to open this. But, alas, cheat engine pulled through, and I got myself a nice Murren Great Hammer. So that's pretty cool. You can actually use cheat engine to change the value of your keys, which I wasn't... I didn't necessarily think that you couldn't. I just figured it would be a lot more difficult because... Uh, the value starts at 1. I mean, technically it starts at 0, but you're starting off at, like, 1, which is a pretty common value. You know, 477,000 results on that one, or whatever the number was. So, you gotta you gotta weed through the bunch. But it is possible. You just have to get 4 keys. So, uh, I would, I guess, recommend those 3, because they're pretty easy to get. If you're not using sped-up game speed like I am, fishing will be a lot easier. So, you could even just go to, like, Fisher Creek and uh, uh, Orchard Farm and 
that would that would get you the keys probably even quicker than what I just did. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely possible. You can definitely use Cheat Engine to change the value of your keys and then, of course, open up all of the key chests. So that's that's awesome. That's a, that's a dandy thing to know. It is just straight up cheating. It's a little bit different than, you know, exploiting the game. You're just straight up using Cheat Engine. But it's good to know that it works. So yeah, glad that guy asked because it kind of like sparked a little like fire under me to be like, is that possible? And just like kind of record this video real quick and boom, here we are, it works. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys found it useful. If you did, make sure to leave a like. It definitely helps me out a whole bunch. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to check out any more of this content or any of my other gaming content for that matter. And yeah, with that being said, this has been Plock the Master Gamer with some Fable of the Lost chapters and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.